assumption is the mother of all screw-ups. Being a parent is hard work, so it's inevitable that one day, while rushing to get your child ready for school, you'll run out of semi-skimmed. As a single parent, I sometimes find I have to just throw on whatever, grab my son and make a quick trip to the local shops. After all, breakfast is the most important meal of the day, right? On the way, without fail, I'll be confronted by the look. What's the look? You know, the look. The she's one of them look. Everybody playing Judge Judy, acting all moody. At first, the tension used to bother me. But I've seen women with children struggling, maybe one child in a buggy and another one walking alongside. The toddler might stray off and the mother is there calling a little boy who just ain't listening. Usually at this point, you can see she really wants, needs to chase that boy and give him one clap. But the pressure from all the public gazes make her feel like she can't. All that parents can't hit their children policy is stupid. What's going to hurt more, a motherly slap or... Bobby, go to time out. So, can you tell us a bit about what you do for a living? Well, I run a small dressmaking service. We do custom designs, tailoring and other bits and bobs. Though it's hard juggling business and childcare because sometimes work leaks into after-school hours... Timing is difficult, but you work out a system that works for you. That sounds like a job for Superwoman. So what was it like getting started? It was tough when I started out, and there were definitely patterns between employers and funding programmes. I remember when I first went to the small business centre. And this here is the cash flow forecast for the third quarter. But you won't be able to do that because you have a child. But... Topshop has put in an order for a 100,000 pieces. But you won't be able to do that because you have a child. In the words of Aaliyah Horton, if at first you don't succeed, dust yourself off and try again. Subsequently, I sought private investment from a woman who also started out as a single parent. She understood the game, gave me some advice and invested in what was then a newborn startup. At a party a few years later, who did I see? Hey, I'm glad to see things are working out for you. Let's let bygones be bygones. Can I call you? Sorry, I won't be able to do that because I have a child. What do you think could be done to help other single women with children? Other people that have been in the situation themselves are the greatest help. People who understand the playing field, but on the receiving end. Also, I think women shouldn't be so afraid to ask for help. I mean, when that first dude at the business centre rejected my plan, I kind of adopted a do-it-all-yourself attitude that made things harder. But even the most successful outliers of today had a hidden helping hand given back in the day. Jeremy Carr gets on my nerves. He thinks he's so slick on his show talking about how women want to stay at home at the expense of the taxpayers. Then the audience start clapping. Why don't he attack the people in the audience? Aren't they supposed to be at work? <laughs>